Someone told me a story of an evangelist before. He was very devout and had a strong faith. Because he preached the gospel diligently, he was persecuted and despised by people around him. Nevertheless, he boldly preached the gospel in order to save the world. He diligently preached the truth of the gospel of God with the determination to save this world. One day, he went to a village. All the people of the village slandered him, hurled insults at him, and stoned him. Some even spit at him and slapped him in the face. Nevertheless, the evangelist was not discouraged, but devoted his whole heart to his mission, preaching the word of God. Meanwhile, one of the villagers was watching his attitude and became curious. He asked the evangelist, Aren't you angry? Even though you did nothing wrong, they despise you and insult you. They criticize you for everything you do and continue to grumble and complain about you. Sometimes they even spit at you and even slap you in the face. However, I've never seen you get angry. How is that possible? The villager asked him in surprise. Then the evangelist replied, When someone gives something to others, he can only give what he has. Isn't that so? He continued, How can I share anger with others since I don't have anger? How can I share hatred with others since I don't have hatred in me? I also don't have any feelings of jealousy towards others. Therefore, how can I share anger, hatred, or jealousy with others when I don't have them? He concluded, I can give to others what I have, but I cannot give to others what I do not have. I have no hatred. I have no anger inside me. Thus, how can I share those things with them? I think this is the kind of character that only Christians can have. While we live in this world, we may face various misfortunes and go through numerous sufferings. However, we must always keep in mind that Christ dwells in us and never forget to remind ourselves that Christ is always at work in us. By doing so, amid thousands of misfortunes and all kinds of pain and suffering in the world, we will be able to always walk with God in His comfort. Jesus also taught us this lesson. Jesus said, You remain in me, and I in you, remembering that God is always with us. Let us think of God and the kingdom of heaven as God's people whenever we face difficulties.